Louisiana Beer Reviews, recorded at the Third Supermarket. Today we have a beer from Italy, Emperor Ale, Rossa. That's what it says right in the bottle, beer from Italy. Unpasteurized red ale beer, naturally re-fermented in, in, re in the bottle. 8% alcohol, brewed and bottled by Fabrica della Birra Tenute Colesi. Imported by Weinbauer, Franklin Park, Illinois. All right. It gets a good rating on Beer Advocate. There's only like 26 reviews. A 49 out of 100 on Rate Beer and a 23 out of 100 for the style. Never had it, but it's saying here 1870, so this company must have been around that long. Uh, their website shows that they make all kinds of stuff beer, wine, spirits. So couldn't get it translated, so I had to kind of piece through it, but I did find out that there's a number of beers that they make. Uh, Pizerns carries two of them, the Rasa, and the uh, Nero. Now this particular review might just consist of me trying to get this Off. <laughs> All right. It's covered with this. Uh, it's got a weird cap. It's got this thick plastic shroud. It's in a green, a very dark green bottle. So let's take a little sample of this. We do see some smoke coming out. I'm sure there'll be sediment. It says it's a Belgian style red ale. Well, look at that thick beige head and that murky reddish rust red appearance. I mean, it's very dark and murky, but I see little bubble streams around the edges. But this is so full of grayish white chunks. I mean, something else. Alright. I've been waiting to try this. So let's see. The aroma is very fruity. Uh, think of Figs are uh, dates, it's kind of dense fruit. <sighs> Maybe some breadiness, I don't know, but it's a pretty uh, rich aroma, that's the word. Let's go with the taste. It's not really dates or prunes or something, but it's, it's along those lines. It's kind of hard to describe. It's a, maybe a fruitcake. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. The fruitcake, the breadiness, the spiciness from the yeast. There might be a mild hot bitterness, but I don't think there's a whole lot there with the bitterness. Uh, it does remind me of those Belgian ales. Should remind me of this, since that is the style. I can pick up some of the alcohol. There's a little bit of a wine, a brandy wine, but it's not strong. It is only 8%, but it's there. Uh, the body is medium and fluffy to some extent. Now the finish of this beer, I mean look at that head, that head is just like a semi-solid. 
it's pretty dry. It's uh, somewhat crisp for an ale. It's uh, lively. It, there's a lot of liveliness to it, and the, and the drinkability is super on this. I mean, I could gulp this down. I ain't gonna gulp it down. Excuse me for saying ain't. <laughs> I'm not gonna gulp it down, but you could, which could, might be a problem for you. Um, I don't get the lower than you know the kind of average ratings. Uh, I think it's really delicious. 17 ounce bottle, so it's not just a little over an American pint. I, I think it's great. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. I'm going to give it a solid 8. I think this beer is most excellent. It's certainly worth a one time try at least. And I'm, I, I have to. I mean, I don't have to, but I feel compelled to try the other one, the, the Nira. So, <laughs> hey. Check it out. So, Les Les Bon Ton Relay. This is a most excellent and very interesting beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on, come on down to my Thurns and check out their enormous beer selection.